We're checking in on Nolan County, where the Children's Advocacy Center of West Texas received 267 child abuse or neglect cases all of last year. 267. So far this year, 220. KTAB's Tyler Henderson has more on the Children's Advocacy Center in Sweetwater, its expansion into more mental health assistance for children, and the community's support. Painted handprints line the walls as you walk through the Children's Advocacy Center in Sweetwater. I placed my hand upon that. I remember that day of what that child told me. And so that just brings back what that child outcried to us. That's where you can find Executive Director Samana Arizmendi looking back on the countless stories she's heard. I mean, from 2000 to 2022, they're all here. From kids 3 to 17 years old, leaving their mark after being marked by abuse and neglect themselves. Trauma looks different on every child that we, we see. And some people say, you know, that child looks just fine. They, you know, they're thriving, they're moving, but then they have a rough day and that trauma is coming through. It's in this seat right here that nearly 60% of the kids the CAC sees cry for help. But right across the hall in the observation room, well, that's where the funding raised by the police and fire department are helping to strike out child abuse. For us to be able to come out and to raise funds to help keep them running, to help keep them going, uh, or even to help them expand their, their abilities is, is phenomenal. Hosting a softball tournament to raise funds for the CAC to expand their mental health programming. Mental health issues are often underserved in our communities, especially smaller communities like ours. So anything they can do to help us in that realm is, is very important. Using those funds, looking to hire a full-time counselor for the kids. Because every child should just be able to be a child and not have a worry. In Sweetwater, with coverage you can count on, Tyler Henderson, KTAB News. Thank you, Tyler. The CAC reported one in seven youngsters experienced physical, sexual, or emotional abuse or neglect last year. It hopes to raise more awareness on the issue in West Texas. Find more information on the softball tournament and how to enter on the KTAB website, bigcountryhomepage.com.